Let's talk veganism. It seems to be a thing these days, uh, along with uh, gluten-free and uh, and keto diets uh, and a whole bunch of uh, other things. Uh, it uh, seems to be more uh, of the vegetarian uh, diet and more friendly for our Earth. Uh, We aren't polluting the earth. Uh, and it could be more healthy for us uh, as veg vegetables and fruit uh, are the most uh, essential things about the four food groups uh, vegetables and fruit, uh, wheat and uh, meat and alternatives, and uh, dairy and alternatives. And they will teach you this uh, when you're much younger for food groups. So, going for the uh, vegetarian uh, and the diet, that can be uh, very helpful. But there are just some people who uh, are uh, influencing uh, this uh, and approaching uh, vegetarian uh, diets uh, or going fully uh, vegan. And uh, you may have heard of this person. Uh, she goes by the nickname uh, the Fijian Teacher. Her real name is uh, KD Karen uh, Dykmeyer. And she looks like this. She's 58 years old, and uh, she's uh, a person who is trying to influence uh, people to uh, go for a vegan uh, diet. They had uh, education at Concordia University. She says uh, trying to fight racism, homophobia, and vegan phobia while trying to save the. Uh, And she even uh, makes uh, content on YouTube and TikTok, which she doesn't really take it uh, to a good uh, approach uh, too much. Her nicknames are Miss Katie, Miss Karen, as her middle name is Karen, or vegan teacher Karen. But she has uh, and also been known for attacking people who uh, have uh, eaten meat or do eat meat, eat meat. and uh, they include uh, Mr. Beast, Gordon Ramsay, and then there's some, some other big names out there uh, she decided to uh, attack. Because Jimmy from Mr. Beast, uh, he uh, did this video where he uh, ate... Uh, really expensive uh, beef uh, with his, uh, his uh, crew and KD she uh, made a big deal out of it and she attacked Mr. Beast on YouTube for being a meat eater which uh Jimmy is not not just a general meat eater. He does eat uh, all kind of uh, you know, food from uh, all food groups. And he has YouTube videos where where he does uh, eat uh, cause all kind of stuff too. Uh, so. And she also tried to have gone at the Gordon Ramsay 
for, of course, eating meat, cooking with meat. And uh, she even tried to uh, call him a bad father just for teaching his uh, son and daughters uh, cooking. Which, of course, uh, is a cooking with uh, vegetables, meat, and, uh, and wheat, and then some other uh, ingredients that we generally use for cooking. And literally calling Gordon Ramsay a bad father. That is just too uh, rude for her, like. Because she's a mother and a mother of three, and why is she doing this kind of rude stuff? And she has been uh, been called out uh, by people like, uh, you know, gamer, YouTuber, Sniper Wolf, real name, Alaya Shalish. She called uh, out... Uh, Katie for being uh, crazy. And then she, she also, uh, there was another person, uh, YouTuber Call Me Chris. Chris uh, called out uh, Katie for also being a bad influence, telling Katie to. Please stop. And and Katie Dykemeyer, she is taking this veganism thing too far and is approaching it the wrong kind of way. Because there are people who are just uh, Going veganism just for the sake of save the planet. And of course, there's a why love one but eat the other because uh, there's uh, people who love uh, their pets like dogs and cats, uh, and uh, of course, other animals that are deemed as pets, but uh, no. Of course, we have eat that. Uh, Chicken or you no know, poultry or beef or you no know, pork or fish. Some people, uh, they are like, uh, they eat. Uh, Vegetables, uh, but they do have a uh, eat certain other kinds of meat, which there's uh, if you look online, there's a whole bunch of different classifications for vegans. Uh, there are uh, people, uh, lacto ovo vegans, uh, so vegetarians will not eat uh, meat, poultry, fish, or seafood, but we eat dairy products honey, and eggs. So it includes a number of uh, high-protein foods like uh, eggs and lentils. That's pretty sustainable to way to eat it. Uh, want to exclude all meat from your diet. So you get uh, your nutrients from there. So there's flexitarian, uh, which is just like people who uh, they'll eat uh, generally vegetables on most days uh, of the week. And then, but they'll eat a uh, chicken steak or any other animal product which uh, they're craving it. So there's like a only eat meat, eat meat on like Sunday. The have a vegetarian diet on other days. Which actress uh, Natalie Portman? She's uh, sort of going for that, and uh, this is how what uh, people should be going for. Pescatarian. A vegetarian who also eats fish uh, along with eggs and dairy. 
So if you want to get them um, actually protein in your diet, uh, it's also to uh, with a great diet for uh, getting amp ample brain supporting omega-3 fatty acids, uh, which also are otherwise uh, found in the food like chia seeds or walnuts. Uh. There's a uh, lacto vegetarian, which uh, they're uh, They have uh, lactose, uh, no, right? So they eat uh, dairy products. And then there's some religions like Hinduism, where people uh, they consider eggs and egg products to be animals, so they don't eat it that way. For that reason. Ovo vegetarian. They include eggs and uh, egg products in their diet, but they don't eat dairy or other animal products such as seafood, uh, fish, poultry, and meat. And of course, there are the people who uh, just are all huh? just vegetables and fruit. No eggs, no dairy, or even honey. So, and sometimes they won't even wear leather or fur goods or use products that include any animal to breathe the ingredients such as gelatin. And uh, there are uh, people who are raw vegan, which is the most strictest uh, form of a vegetarian diet. Uh, so, no cooking. They just eat vegetable raw. So they could just eat uh, vegetables, fruits, uh, legumes, uh, sprouted grains, nuts, herbs, and seeds. With but. Since uh, Miss Katie is approaching this veganism the wrong way, there is someone who uh, is a general meat eater. You may have uh, known him as a former uh, NASA scientist. For eight years, uh, helped uh, launch the Mars rover. Did uh, work for Apple for a couple of years. Yep, Mark Rober. He has a video uh, where he uh, made this uh, video. Uh, so what he did in the video, I can't show it uh, because of copyright. Since uh, he uh, meets meat generally. He also uh, decided to try uh, this plant-based meat since it's a thing these days. So he was uh, researching uh, what are the benefits, uh, what does it taste like, and what can, uh, kind of good can it do for the planet. So he, instead of uh, what uh, Katie does, he literally went to uh, Two of the most uh, major plant-based meat makers, Beyond Meat and Impossible Meat. He met up with the crew. The people who worked there actually tried uh, making this plant-based meat and uh, what it's made of and checked it all out. Tasted it firsthand. Got some research. Tried it on some people uh, he knew. Uh, at a restaurant, and then he uh, went to Bill Gates, and they both tried this plant-based uh, burger, and also uh, asked uh, Bill Gates uh, what his thoughts were.
And although, uh, if, uh, if Katie, uh, like Myers, if she really wanted to influence, uh, veganism on people, she could have just, uh, went over to Beyond Meat and Impossible Meat and also did some research and influenced people that, that way on her YouTube and TikTok instead of, uh, slandering people who, uh, do eat meat. Or aren't uh, vegan or another variant of uh, no. veganism. She could have been a much uh, done it in a much nicer way. But she decided to be toxic. And unfortunately, since she's Canadian. She's over in Montreal. It's unfortunate that as Canadians have uh, to uh, apologize that we have uh, one person who is uh, is not uh, acting uh, like the standard uh, Canadian stereotypes, uh, expecting us to be nice people, welcoming. And it's basically shows that a person who uh, does eat meat every now and then does it better at educating people about veganism than someone who is a, a pro-veganism person. And uh, she is uh, no uh, educator if she's going to act this way. And uh, her title deserves to be taken away as educator. And... Uh, if uh, Miss Katie is watching this, uh, she could uh, literally just uh, listen to uh, the advice and literally uh, go uh, collaborate with uh, Beyond Meat and Impossible Meat. As people actually like their products and she should have just approached uh, veganism in a nice uh, formal way. So. Instead of being a good influence uh, to uh, promote veganism, she is the worst. The link to Mark Rover's uh, video is down below. And you can uh, do what... Uh, Actress Natalie Parton and doing eating meat on some days and uh, go for uh, just vegetables and nice fruit on other days. That's the smarter way to uh, do it. And just Try it for yourself. And if you want to go and uh, do a veganism kind of diet, that's up to you. Don't try to get bullied into it. Don't listen to a thing, uh, Miss uh, Katie. Does she is a bad influence.